you know, one of the things that I also found out in my kind of wanderings through, you know, how to take care of a human being was that some of these kinds of things like social connection that, you know, very um, small amounts of social connection can um, have uh, quite profound uh, consequences. So, you know, one thing I could do is I could describe all of these various contingencies, um, but uh, that would be sort of like me describing swimming to you. You know, you might know a lot about swimming, you know, all the physics and fluid dynamics of swimming and, you know, musculature involved, but you wouldn't know how to swim. And uh, so I'll spend a little bit of time kind of talking about the, the kind of evolutionary basis of, of this, but we'll really spend a considerable bit of our time um, exploring uh, firsthand the kind of ins and outs of uh, human disconnection uh, and, and connection. And so I think what people can walk away, will walk away with um, is some um, things that they can actually actively do in their lives, not just clinical things, you know, and not just, you know, things that if you get an hour a week with a client over, you know, a period of several months, but um, in people's day-to-day -day, um, lived interactions with the people around them, uh, in, in brief kind of healthcare settings or uh, educational settings, there are, are some um, relatively simple, sometimes slightly not intuitive um, ways that we can rich in those contacts um, uh, for ourselves uh, and for the people that we're interacting with. Um, you can kind of become, a, um, I think what people can come away with it, um, uh, is that they can be kind of a, a vector, you know, like if uh, social goodness um, was, a, was a virus, you know, they can become sort of a, a vector for the uh, spread of uh, social goodness. You know, having somebody in front of you who leans in and kind of looks at you um, in a way, you know, that suggests that there must be something terribly interesting uh, to be known about you. Oh my goodness. Um, even if the person can't get what that is, to be looked at that way persistently, you know, as if there must be something in you that is extraordinary. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that's a powerful thing. And, you know, if you, uh, and if you've experienced it in your life multiple times, then you're among the very, very fortunate. Um, some of our clients who suffer the most, you know, maybe have never been looked at in that way. This, this workshop is a place where people can, you know, uh, think of it as sort of like this, deep interpersonal yoga, you know, we're going to like sort of move into those boundary areas and, you know, see if we can find our little um, places of inflexibility and to kind of move around inside of those a little bit um, and then mm -hmm. watch what that produces. <laughs>